Hello. See if we get a notification this afternoon. We might, we might not. But what is up everybody? Good afternoon. I'm gonna sit here and have some pistachios while I wait for people to come in. finished uh, carving up that ham, bagged everything up, have it ready, but now, not sure if I can cook everything Wednesday, because I got a text that I have to go to see my pain management on Wednesday afternoon, 1 o'clock, but I guess I can do it when I get back. here they keep seeing one person pop in pop out pop in pop out like I said I don't know if I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a notification or not not sure what up scratch check What's going on brother just sitting here eating pistachios waiting to see if anybody's gonna come in or not did you get a notification? Because lately, YouTube doesn't want to give me one in the afternoon. I don't know why. But they don't. <clears throat> I'm just I'm just chilling, man. I just went live. I was uh I got my Oh, you did? Okay, good. I um I broke down the, I had like a 12 pound ham shank that I got for free um, in the supermarket for spending, you know, all year, spending money or whatever to give you a free ham. I, I thought I was going to get a spiral ham, but which is much easier. But they, they uh, if I got the spiral ham, it would have rang up a dollar per pound and it was like 12 pounds or something. I didn't want to spend the extra money. So I got the shank, which has a lot more fat on it, but it was already cooked. So I broke it all down into for soups and. Some for my dad for sandwiches, some for myself. But that was a pain in the butt. It took me a little while. This is a lot of fat on there. But, but I got a pretty good amount of meat off of it. I'm going to make pea soup and I'm going to make uh, potato and ham soup. Two different kinds of soup. I'm going to make Wednesday or Thursday. How you doing? How was your Easter, bro? Mine was quiet. I stood home. I didn't feel too good yesterday. What's up, Fishing Maniac? Seems the bone in that shank goes in six to... You ain't lying, bro. It's the truth. And there is a lot of fat on it. Yep. What up, Steven Scratcher? Can't stay very crazy today. A lot went down. Okay. I'll holler at me later. Let me know what's up. Happy Easter. What's up, Jeffrey? Pissed me off. Uh, yeah, it wasn't fun doing it, but you know, I just listen for free. Just gotta be patient. I cut it all up. And I got what I got out of it. I got a bag of bag of ham for my dad for me. I, I didn't even slice it all up. I just cleaned it up, left it in chunks. It was good. Just driving, 
transferring cars. I hear you, brother. I hear you. Um, did he, did he, did Mark Truex Jr. not win NASCAR? Huh? What you mean, Jeffrey? I don't, I don't watch much of NASCAR. Oh, he didn't win NASCAR? Scratch check there. He watches that more than I do. I'm not into that, really. I used to be. I just stopped watching it. Uh, my boy Jimmy Johnson ain't racing no more, I don't think. I had a race on the other day. I didn't see him. I saw a 48 car, but it wasn't him. It was somebody else. That was my guy, Jimmy Johnson. I liked watching him race. Yeah, I'm just sitting here plucking away some pistachios. Pretty much done. Had a few before I came on camera. Just bored, man. I got done with the turkey uh, with the ham. Then I got a message in between. Then I got to go to freaking pain management on Wednesday. I wasn't planning on that. I totally didn't realize it. I thought it was going to be the following week. So now I got to go out tomorrow and Wednesday and Friday. Friday treatment. Wednesday pain management. Tomorrow I got to go out and do a couple things. We'll see what's up. But other than that, just chilling out. Hope everybody else is having a good day. I wash the dishes and everything too. And that I laid down. I was watching uh, Any Fin as Possible. I don't know if you've seen that fishing channel. Does a lot of carp catfishing, carp carping. I think he's in PA. I was watching him for a little while. That was pretty fun. I didn't fall asleep and just laid there for an hour. Uh, Y'all still with me? What happened? Everybody started talking and then the chat stopped completely. So two people in the chat, four thumbs up. Pretty thin, snazzy, these things. Pretty good. Let's see, pluck five more, six more. Okay. I hear you, brother. I know, that's not that exciting anymore, man. They're just, if we get on a good subject, it usually gets good, but this morning was live, was pretty good. We've been talking about a lot of cool stuff, but the afternoon ones have been kind of, eh. I did say I was going to go on StreamYard, and I forgot. They get a little bit better because people come up on a panel and it's a little more interesting, but uh, I'm not feeling too great anyway. So we're going to do a little live for an hour and call it a day and then I cook dinner. I'm actually making pierogies. I never made them the other day. And then I just wait for your low boy session. Country will be live, I think, at 5.30. That'll take it right into the evening. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's my Monday. And like I said, Tuesday, tomorrow I have to go out to farmer's market into the store. And I got to get money out to pay my rent. Wednesday, pain management. Thursday, nothing. And then Friday, I go for treatment at... 11 o'clock. So that's pretty much that's pretty much my week ahead. Be at the cancer center a lot. Uh, you had a good Easter though, Scratch Act. Hung out family, man. Had some good food, I'm hoping. 
like I said, I didn't cook. I just had that ham. I just broke it down today. I'm going to make some pea soup and uh, potato and ham soup. Uh, probably, I don't know, Thursday. It looks like Thursday. I'll be home all day. So I'll probably do that on Thursday. I'll make one of them. Or I'll try to make both, but it depends. If I start early, like I'll do my morning live, get off of there at like 12, put on the first pot, and then and then I'll cook that a couple hours, and then I'll prep the other one and maybe get that one on for dinner, the other one. <clears throat> I have to pick up a bunch of containers, too, while I'm out tomorrow so I can freeze a lot of it. I'm going to give a lot to my uh, to my dad. And uh, my landlord, actually, he said, if you make pea soup, he said, I'll take some. I'm like, okay. So I have to definitely get some containers. I haven't made pea soup. Uh, it's been a while, probably since... Since I was working at the restaurant, anyway. I don't even know if I made pea soup there. I don't think so. I made potato, cream of potato I made there. But this one's going to be more like a, not a cream of potato. This one's going to be more like a uh, rustic. Um, there's going to be some cream in stock, but it's going to be more like chunk potato. You know, so I'll blend some of it, and then I'm going to leave, like, some chunky potatoes in there. Probably use red bliss potatoes. Depends. I want to see what's on sale. Probably that or just regular regular white potatoes but and then um i'm gonna put the ham in there too and let the ham list get cooked and break up be really good i haven't made it like that in a long time i used to do it um my grandmother showed yeah my grandmother showed me uh she used to make potato soup with kibasi in it polish sausage but i want to do it with this ham because this ham sits smoky very very smoky so a really really good smoky flavor you know, just like, you know, slow, like a little slow simmer, you know, let the potatoes cook slow, you know, let the, let the ham cook, let it break up, you know, be really, really good. And then the pea soup, I have the, the big bone too. I have, I have ham for it and I got the bone. So that's going to cover a couple hours, you know, let all that meat fall off the bone. Once it's done too, you just take it out. All that meat just crumbles off the side of the bone, man. It's pretty good. All that good fat, you know, gets in there. So yeah, it's going to be really good. I can't wait. And this week here is pretty shitty. It's going to be raining in the next couple of days and a little chilly. So good time for stick to your rib kind of bowl of soup, you know, for dinner or whatever, or lunch. <laughs> Plus, it gives me something to do, man. You know, so I'm, I'm like super bored le lately, man, just sitting here. And besides my lives, man, it's pretty boring. You know, half the time I don't feel good. So I'm either like just laying in bed resting and shit, you know. I need to do like start getting up and doing shit. and keeping myself occupied a little bit, you know, the days I do feel okay, you know, I gotta get up and do stuff, and I love to cook, my sister just, she bought me this really nice uh, knife set the other day, uh, scratch act, really nice, man, I'll show you another day, I'll, I'll take a little video of it, and I'll, I'll send it to you, I'll text it to you, never heard of it, it's a Europe something, I don't know, but really nice set, I didn't even use the, uh, the uh, chef knife, I used the in-between, it's like a I don't know, half the width of a chef knife, but a little longer and not quite a fillet. I don't know what you call it, like a bone, not even a boning knife either. It's like an in-between both of those. Really nice though. It was really good to break down that ham because that, like Mark said in the beginning, that bone like seems like it goes in six different directions. It's insane. Even though it doesn't, it's just one straight big bone, but it's like you try to cut it. It's impossible to cut the ham right down the middle. You know, So I had to like cut like chunks off and clean up the fat. It was, it was, a, it was a little bit of a headache. It was worth it in the end. But yeah. I miss cooking. So it'll be it'll be a fun little thing for me to do. A little project. You know, give some to my friend upstairs and give some to my uh, family. So make me feel good doing that too. You know, they do a lot for me lately. So cutlets, mat cutlets, mash, and asparagus tonight. That sounds good too, man. I'm gonna do pierogies, man. I'm craving them. I already pulled the box. I have the Mrs. T's, but I pulled them out, left them on the counter, so I, I have to walk past them like five times. I'm like, all right, I'm definitely making them. Got a new truck today. Had no vehicle. Oh, okay. Pro yeah, pierogies are good. I got Mrs. T's, the onion flavor. I got some sour cream that I bought last week. That's it. Eat, eat those up. And when I make the onion flavor ones, I don't even. They have, like, onions inside. I don't even make the onions on the outside. Like, I usually fry up, like, onions, but I don't even have any. So, forgot to get them. <laughs> but it's good. I don't need it, really. 
I just I like I just put them in a nonstick skillet with a little bit of butter, nice and slow. Let them, let them brown up. And that's it, man. That's all I need. Many ones are good too. Yeah, they are. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, that'll be my night. What'd you get? What kind of truck? Why, why did you not have a vehicle? Without what happened to your other car? Twenty Ted Ford Explorer. That's cool. What happened to your other car? What, why'd you have to get uh, get a new one? I know you said you were doing the um, DoorDash or whatever. A couple of those things you were doing, you said. Plus your regular uh, bakery job. So you definitely needed a vehicle. My wife's car would be shared. It's at the shop. Needs like $1,000 worth of work. And she may be working. She may be working not from home anymore. And she will need the car. Oh, I gotcha. That's cool. What's up, Scott Lambert? What's going on, buddy? Ah, freaking nose is itchy. I don't know if that's a sign of good news or bad news. I'm not really sure, but my nose has been itchy all day. It's kind of weird. Uh, hope you're doing good, Scott. Hope you had a nice Easter. <clears throat> that's good, Mark. 2010 uh, Explorer. That's cool. Where's Billy? I don't know. He had, he had the uh, roofing people there, so I don't know if he's going to pop in or not. And they started early this morning. I don't know. Nothing much doing great today, thanks. That's good. Yeah, nothing much going on here either, man. Just uh, told everybody broke down my uh, sh ham shank. Got it ready for like sandwiches and stuff. Got a bag for my dad, and uh, the rest is for a couple of soups I'm gonna make at the end of the week, Scott. Free some, so I have them, you know, future, and give some to my uh, my landlord. Said he'll take some. He said he loves pea soup. He doesn't like ham. I'm like, he's like, I don't, I hate fresh ham. He goes, but if you make it in pea soup, but he's like, I really like it. I'm like, okay. I said, so let me borrow a big pot so I can make the soup because I don't have a big sauce pot. I have, I have not got one yet. I have like smaller ones, you know, to make like a half a pound of pasta for myself or whatever. You know, my sister gave me, but nothing big. And uh, I wish I had the crock pot, to be honest, because I could do both then in one shot. One in the crock pot and one on a pot in the stove and be done with everything. But sorry, it gives me something to do. <clears throat> Just a boring day it's pretty nasty outside i don't even know if it's raining or not but i know it looks like it's raining i haven't been outside since uh when did i go out i wasn't even out yesterday day before i'll be out tomorrow and wednesday be busy going to have easter supper tonight with all the fixings there you go yeah i'm actually gonna eat pierogies tonight but i might what i might do is i might take a little bit of that ham some of the, I like I like like the parts mark. Have you ever noticed on those butts, the shanks? I mean, like the outside part where it got like uh, from the smoker, the way they smoke them, it's like a little crunch on the outside. I might take that and cut it up small, like in little strips or whatever, and fry that up with the butter, nice and slow, and eat that with the uh, with the pierogies too. That'll probably be good, almost like a like bacon. You know, I might do that too. That's a great idea. I just thought it up, but. Uh, yeah, I didn't have a. I didn't do anything for Easter, Scott. I stayed home yesterday. I didn't really feel too hot. Plus, family didn't do anything. So we kind of everybody laid low. Yeah, that is that is the best part of it, man. I was I was munching on it before when I was when I was breaking down the ham. I was eating those little crunchy parts, man. They're good. <clears throat> Got a nice smoky flavor for sure. That's why it's good for a soup. You know, good for a pea soup. Really, really good. Those bones, especially the shank too. I mean, it really, it's a pain in the ass to clean up, but it's worth it for soup. That meat, you know, just whatever, so good, like on the outside for sandwiches and stuff. But that meat, like towards the bone and stuff, really, really good in there. Good fat and really good for soup. We didn't do anything either because my nephews were working. Oh, I hear you. Okay. That's cool. Thanks to the three people and seven thumbs up. I appreciate it. <clears throat> um, yeah, you know, you know, I'm sick. So I, I didn't do anything. I didn't feel good, man. My brother messaged me later on. I was like, oh, it would have been nice to see you today. But they didn't really do anything. They didn't do anything either. So, you know, 
I thought maybe I would have seen him today, but I didn't. Go, I couldn't go out today because I was just waiting money to hit on my account, and it never came yet until tomorrow. So I'm waiting for that, so I can go buy all my stuff that I need for the suit. Be you know, try to get everything in one shot. You know, do what I got to do all in one day. I don't like to bother my dad that much these days. And then I just then I found out he doesn't even know yet. I got to tell him. They uh, message me after my live that I have to go to the friggin' pain management on Wednesday, one o'clock. And it's not a big deal. It's, it's it's up at the cancer center, but it's like, you know, 45 minutes to an hour out of everybody's day. And it's just, I hate asking my dad to do that shit, but he says he doesn't mind. And, but it is what it is. You know, after a while, it just becomes to me, I feel like I'm a burden. You know? He tells me not to think that way. <laughs> I guess until you're in this predicament, you wouldn't understand what I'm saying, but it is what it is. We'll get it over with. And then uh, Friday, like I said, I go for the treatment. So first treatment since he canceled the one before. So it's actually, it was actually three, six, uh, almost five weeks since I didn't have a treatment. So we'll get it in. I started taking my, uh, my, Tumor meds again today for the first time in like 13 days. Jeffrey, Jim, bye. Bye, Jeffrey. Take care, buddy. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. Well, what else is going on? Anything new, Scott? Uh So Wednesday, what, what time did I say? It'd be at one o'clock. I should be back in time. Um, scratch act to catch your live if you're going live Wednesday for the big rolling group. I should be home. But I want you guys to do me a favor. Like Mark, that's in here every day. Scott comes in a lot. You know, a lot of you guys that come in here all the time, like come up with some ideas that we can do for this channel. Because it's starting to become repetitive of just the chats. Like I really enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. We get into good ones in the morning, but I want to have something different in the afternoon to do. And I can't come up with any ideas. I and mean, I'm drawing blanks in. I really am. Like I thought of doing bingo, but then you need prizes and I don't have money to do prizes. So I was thinking trivia, but that's like also prizes. You know what I mean? We got to come up with something. I'm thinking about, uh, I think D-Man's going to send me a, a diamond art. So maybe I'll do a diamond art, you know, here and there. That'd be kind of cool. Trying to clean up a big tree limb that the wind broke. I hear you. Once I start feeling better and the weather's a little nicer, I'll be uh, I'll be doing lives in the afternoon down the river fishing. But we need to we need to figure out something until that comes. Okay, I seriously I, I'm draw a blank, man. It's hard to come up with with something. You know, me, as long as I've had a channel, has always been lottery or fishing. You know, I, I can't think of anything else. It's hard. But I'm here at 25 minute mark in my live and I'm like bored. I don't know what I don't even know what to talk about. You know, I might I might take a few days off of uh, doing the afternoon lives to be honest. I would love to set up the tripod. I'm gonna try and set up the tripod while I'm cooking the soup and stuff. People people enjoy watching the cooking. So I might I might do that on Thursday for a little while just to see if I can uh, set it up. I gotta find a spot in there to set up the tripod. Maybe I'll do that. Mm -hmm. We'll figure it out though. My dad planted those maple trees when they were at his mom's house. Now they're close to 70 years old. Wow. It's gotta be big then, big trees, 70 years old. Thanks to the four people here and eight thumbs up. I do appreciate it. Coming and hanging out for a little while with me anyway, even though we're boring over here. I don't know. Got to come up with something. <clears throat> Dad 
Oh, he planted them 70 years ago? No. Wow. Darn woodpeckers just about ruin those trees. Oh, wow, that sucks. What's up, Rocco? I had a pint of beer at my Mexican lunch, and it went to the dome, and I slept it off for two hours. Now I feel excellent. Oh, that's cool. What's up, Rocco? I'm glad you enjoyed your lunch, man, and a beer. Probably got a good nap out of it, too. Hey, Laura. I'm okay. I hope you're doing all right. I'm doing okay, honey. Thanks for asking. I'm trying. Just another day. Another day in the neighborhood, you know what I mean? The, the boring life I, lay, I lead these days. We are just talking about, Laura, how boring these afternoon ones have been. We need to come up with some idea, to, something fun to do here in the afternoons. <laughs> That's funny. Puts me to sleep after my seventh one. Vodka, not a problem. I'm okay, thanks. That's good. I'm glad you're doing okay. I can't gripe at all. Nah, as long as you had a good afternoon. Did you have a, did you have a good meal, Rocco? What'd you eat? You said a Mexican lunch. Did you have uh, fajitas, uh, burritos? What'd you have? Tacos? Yeah. Yeah, it's just, I, I don't know, it's just... These afternoon lives have been, you know, hit or miss, Laura. It's just, you know, it's been boring. Because really, I don't have anything for content, you know. We just sit here, we talk about things. And sometimes we get into really good conversations where it's, you know, you know next thing you know, it's an hour later. But I wish I had something, you know, content-wise to do. We have a rare kind of woodpecker called a pelated, pelated woodpecker. It's about a foot. Wow, that's funny because that, that is crazy, man. Because I was just watching um, this fishing channel called Any Fin is Possible. And he was talking about that, that they have him where he's at. He said it reminds him of Woody Woodpecker. That's how big they are. <laughs> and what they uh, they destroy all the trees, huh? And they only mess with maples. From what I from what I was listening to him too. State quesadilla. There you go. Sounds good. Yes, they're really aggressive. Yeah, he was talking about. I think it was the same one that they're uh, they're very aggressive and very territorial, where they'll be fighting with the other ones and uh, for like their tree or whatever. I don't know much about them. You know, like I said, just it's funny that you brought it up. I was just listening to that just before. Stay quesadilla. Would you have sour cream and uh, guacamole too? Salsa, Rocco. That's what they usually give us sides. To a quesadilla. Then he mentioned some other woodpecker too. Somebody else mentioned it in there. I forget the name of it though. Red, not redheaded. Redheaded? Yeah, maybe redheaded, I think he said. Redheaded woodpecker or green, green headed woodpecker, something. No, it was something like that. I don't know much about them, really. House made fresh hot sauce. Yes, all the sides and rice. Nice. How was the hot sauce? Was it good? Usually in a good Mexican spot, man, they have good hot sauce. Like spicy, spicy, but but tasty. Yes, that's right. And they try to get to the bugs under the bark of the tree. Oh, okay. I always wondered why they did that, you know, made the holes in a tree like that. I had to figure, I guess they were going after food. Tears of joy. Uh, it must have been really hot then. <clears throat> Tears of joy when talking about hot sauces. Spicy, but really good. <laughs> That's good. Told you I found a good one in uh, Walmart. It's, uh, it's a sriracha, but it's the, the company. that I, It's really tasty, man. I put it on everything. It's really good. And then I like uh, Cholula. has a garlic habanero. Really, really good. I got I to gotta find it again in, in the supermarket. But Cholula is the only one that I've seen. The company that makes it, they have the hot sauce with the wooden, the wooden round top. 
garlic habanero. It's one of the best I've ever had. Very, very good. I appreciate it. six people here. Eight thumbs up. Thank you for whacking that thumbs up button. I appreciate it. Helps out. Yeah, you like chalupa too? Not ch chalupa? No. Cholula. Cholula is the uh, hot sauce name, the company. Cholula. Chalupa is something they make in Taco Bell, isn't it? I think. A chalupa. <laughs> Yeah, my old roommate he used to get all the chalupas, all different ones. They had a they had a green, a green sauce. They had um, like I said, garlic habanero. Um, their chipotle was very very good. Um, I don't know, they had about seven or eight different kinds. They were all they were all pretty banging. He said, "Yeah." How was your Easter? Aunt Tammy messaged me to tell me her surgery was successful. She's sore, but doing better. Oh, that's really good, man. I've been praying for her every night, Rocco. That's good, man. Good to hear. My Easter, I didn't do anything. I was here about myself. I didn't do anything. Man. I didn't really feel too good, so I just rested up. Did my live. Second live was pretty, pretty crappy. Just a couple of us talking for about, I don't know, I only stood on for about 30 minutes, and I ended it. It was, you know, it's Easter dinner time. So the, the morning one was pretty good, but other than that, I just, I just chilled out. I dropped chalupas in the turlet after Taco Bell. <laughs> That's disgusting, Mark. <clears throat> I never eat Taco Bell. I ate Taco Bell once in the last ten years, and I was with my dad. I think it was right when I first when I first got sick. We were coming back from the cancer center or something. I was starving or from the hospital. I don't remember. And I was starving. And I was like, I need to eat that. And he's like, well, where do you want to go? And I was like, I don't know. And for some reason, Taco Bell came up as like a, an agreed upon spot between the both of us. He said he was craving it. And I'm like, I haven't eaten it in like 10 years. And I'm like, I don't know. Well, you made me laugh. Thanks, buddy. But um, yeah, I wound up having some like soft tacos, a couple hard tacos. It was all right. You know, nothing. Nothing to write home about. I'd rather buy the kit in, in the supermarket, you know, and make my own tacos, to be honest. But it is, you know, you get what you pay for. And Taco Bell and all those fast food joints, you know. I don't really eat fast food anymore. I used to eat it a lot. I don't anymore. I got to go to the, I got to run to the bathroom. I'll be right back. right back to you. I'm going to go grab a, um, I was going to make coffee, but I'm going to grab a uh, protein drink. Get protein drink and grab my friggin' aspirin, man. I got a wicked headache, man. Crazy. 
I mean, wicked, wicked, wicked headache. Yeah, he has a habit of doing that, Scott. Sorry, man. Uh. Oh, man, I hope my headache goes away, man. It's been wicked all day. Bang. It's time to regurgitate that E. coli. That E. coli bell, sorry. Just herped a little bit. Thinking of their chemical cheese burrito. <laughs> yeah, don't do that to yourself. You know what I think of when, I, when I'm shaking these things up like this and the sound and everything? When I worked in Lowe's, the paint department, the machine they had to like to mix the paint. Probably be really good to mix these freaking protein drinks up. Mm. That made me laugh. Oh man. When does this go to best if used by June twenty sixth, June twenty sixth, twenty twenty four? It's better out than in, right? Yeah. Hmm. It's really weird. June 26, 2024. That's good, right? Yeah. Just looked a little. It's like it's vanilla, but it's almost like brown. It's weird. That's good. That's not bad. I'm not wrong with it. It's just weird looking color. For vanilla, just like dark. <clears throat> Scotty's on fire. Yeah. <clears throat> we just had seven or eight people in here, and now everybody left. Okay. Thanks for coming, though. Thanks for playing, kids. Appreciate it. <laughs> Told you without without anything to do, man. It's it's. I need to find something, something to keep people interested. Like I was going through my cards the other day, but like nobody gives a shit, really. I finally found this one. I went through that already. What's in this one? I think there's another one up there. I don't know. I gotta see. Or is this the one I went through the other day? Runs on morning. Shit on Alonzo mornings, man. <clears throat> These are all basketball. And for knee hardaway. Derek Coleman. Derek Coleman was a good player, man. With the Nets. Walt Williams. Alonzo. Shaquille O'Neal. 1992. Sometimes people call me the human torch. LOL, aka Johnny Storm. <laughs> Funny Scott. in this one. It's more more freaking these are all like Larry Johnson, I think. This kid that left these behind, man. He loved Alonzo Morning and Larry Johnson, dude. That was like two of his favorite players. Like, you know, like, like I quit smoking, what, six, seven months ago? Something like that, six months ago? 
I just smell cigarettes just now. Like somebody maybe was like walking by the house and there's no windows open. But I just smell cigarettes. Do you remember the Boston Celtics player Bob Cousy? Bob Cousy. I, I heard the name. But this kid was a big Larry Johnson fan and uh, Alonzo Mourning. So there's a lot of, like, I got a bunch of Alonzo Mourning rookie cards and I looked a lot of them up. A lot of them, you know, like the ones that are in these cases are, aren't worth a whole hell of a lot, a few dollars each. But who's this? No idea. Should I answer this? I don't know who it is. Let me answer it. Who cares? Is Hackensack Meridian Health calling about a recent visit at Hackensack UMC Nuclear? Now, I have absolutely no idea if you guys were muted or not through that whole thing, but I tried to, like, mute everything. I had to unplug the, the headphones, which is my microphone, and then I had to mute the actual laptop. I don't know if I did or not. It was no big deal. It was no human. It was just a, they're, every time you go in for, like, I went in for my tests and stuff, so they, they do, like, a survey, I guess, to see how, you know, how it went and, I didn't answer any of the questions, though. I never do. My uncle and cousin are in the Salmon River right now. Oh, that's cool. What are they um, going for salmon, right? I think right now salmon. Maybe tail end of, of steelhead, maybe. I have an authentic signature of him. Of who? Oh, Bob Cousy. Reaction videos are a big hit. F4C reacts to... Oh, steelhead, really? Okay. I guess uh, maybe spring, the spring run steelhead, maybe. I don't know. I've always gone up there for steelhead. I mean, I've only went up there twice, but it was in the winter. Uh, what kind of reaction videos, Rocco? What are you talking about, buddy? You have any ideas? Throw them out there if you do. Salmon is September to maybe end of November. Oh, okay. Ideas for your channel. Yeah, but what kind of ideas? What do you got? You got any any good ideas, Rucka? I've caught some decent steelhead up there in April in the creeks. Oh, really? That's cool. I didn't know that. Like I said, well, every time I've heard either my dad going up when I was a kid or when I went up, it was in uh, the wintertime for steelhead. I'm going to tell you what. This thing tastes so weird, man. I'm, I, I drank almost three quarters of it, but I don't think I want any more of it. Let me go grab a different one. Stacked a few. Oh, I'm sure you did. Yeah. I'm gonna, I don't want to throw the rest of this out. It tastes kind of weird. I don't like it. It's not old. It just tastes weird. switched it up and got a chocolate one I said screw it they ain't messing with the vanilla one right now it's got a chocolate one yeah even like i just burped a little bit like, what a taste what a weird taste i don't know what the hell it is but they weren't at it they're not out of date because i had the same exact one i had one this morning and it tasted fine but that one for some reason tasted really really weird i don't know why so even these are this the chocolate ones are Used by January 2025. These are like well ahead. Hey, Dad. Not much. I just had a vanilla freaking protein drink. It tasted like shit. 
it wasn't out of date or nothing either. I looked. It just tasted really, really weird. Got to go. Everyone watching, it's been fun. All right, Scott, have a good one, buddy. So, Dad, I got bad news and good news. Just whatever news, actually. So, after I did my live, I did the ham and everything, so I have that ready for tomorrow. But um, they texted me, I have to go Wednesday, 1 o'clock, to pay management, unfortunately. So, we got to go run around tomorrow, and then 1 o'clock over there on Wednesday. And then nothing Thursday, and then Friday's treatment. So, I'd really appreciate it if you could take me on Wednesday. It's 1 o'clock at the Cancer Center for um, pain management. And then uh, if you're going to run around tomorrow and Wednesday, then I guess Jared could take me on Friday or whatever. So you don't have to go all over the place. But that's also up to you. Totally forgot. I think they were going to do it next week, pain management. But she sent me the thing that it's going to be this week at 1 o'clock Wednesday. I've snagged salmon, coho, and kings, cromers, and browns. Okay. Cut one and like salmon up there in 15 years. Wow. Just one? Reacts to whatever the hot topic of the day or latest trends, etc. TikTok videos, like funny fishing clips. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. Um, well, I really can't because I was supposed to freaking get the rent out today, Dad. So I have to I have to get out tomorrow. And I want to get the stuff for the um soup and stuff, which we can do the next day, but I promised, I promised Mike I'd have the rent money today, and now I'm already pushing it off. And I push it off till Wednesday. I don't want him to get pissed off. Well, I'll figure it out. This is why I need to get a license in a car so I don't have to bother anybody. I'm sick and tired. Of... I'm just sick of having to get pissed off every single time. It's just like every day. It's just it's insane. Um. That's not a bad idea. Um, I see potential there, Rocco, too. I'll look into it. But right now, I went from a great mood to a bad mood. It's just always, it always just takes one thing to aggravate me. Because I need the favor, and then now it's like, oh, do this on this day, do this on that day. And I can't, because it has to be done certain days, and I have to bother people to do it. And it just becomes a burden on me and everyone else, and I'm just sick and tired of it. Just wish this cancer would fucking go away or just take me already because I fucking had enough of this shit. I really have. Just ruining my whole life. And I, and I just and I just have to aggravate everybody all the time. And it's aggravating to me and to everyone around me. I just, I had enough of it. That's for everybody in New Jersey. One little thing sets us off. No, it's true. But I'm just saying, ever since I got sick, it's like I got to I got to fucking bother everybody all the time. And it's not everybody. It's just my dad. And then it's like, oh, do it on this day. And I can't. So then it just aggravates me because you're telling me what day to do it on. But I can't. I need to do it tomorrow. And then he said, like, oh, he said, oh, I, oh, I, no, I said, no problem. Okay. No problem. Dad. Let's talk about this offline instead of on here. That's my, that was my first mistake. Nobody else gives a shit, to be honest. It'll all turn around, believe me. I'm sure, Mark. I hope so. Because I'm... I'm I'm up to here with it all already. And then I got a fucking troll following me around everywhere I go and all these different channels I go talking shit about me. I'm, I'm sick of it. So if you see some dude come in here because I haven't blocked Donald Sullivan, if you're out there listening, take a fucking hike because I've reported you about 30 times already to YouTube for harassment. So go away and stop trolling me. All right? I didn't want to say anything about it, but that's Donald Sullivan. I was in a fishing channel that that dude's never been in and he was and he was in the fishing channel last night in Cindy's talking shit. Nobody knew the name. So I told him that this dude's been trolling me everywhere I go in lottery community everywhere saying that I'm, I'm doing lottery and I'm getting free shit from the government. Freaking, he went, he went to Cindy's last night, skip Jack Cindy. And, and the first comment he put in there was all oh, watch out for this guy fishing for claimers. All he does is talk about having cancer. That's what he said. And, and Cindy got pissed and it was like, dude, just block him, Just get rid of him. Uh, I don't. If you don't know Skip Jack Cindy, she's cool. She does. She has a fishing channel. She was. I was introduced to her from um, Gigability from Billy, and I was in there last night. And that troll was in there trolling me, man. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Like, how do you even know where I'm at? Yeah, her and Travis. Yep. And uh, and that dude was in there. 
talking shit. All, all, he, all this guy talks about is his, his cancer. Like, what do you care, bro, what I talk about? Go fucking control somebody else, man. Leave me alone. In the lottery. He was in, in the one lottery channel I was in last week. He was in another lottery channel I was in yesterday talking shit. Like, why does this guy even, like, why does this dude even, like, care who I am? Like, what are you trolling me for, bro? I didn't do nothing to you. I blocked him, and then I reported him, like, ten times. And if somehow it was unblocked because I saw him in Cindy's. And I'm like, I blocked this dude. So then I blocked him again, and I reported him to YouTube for harassment. And I don't know what happened after that because I didn't see him because I can't see him if I block him. So I don't even know if he does come into my live or not anymore if they're in the background. Like even like when you type in the chat, like at, if you do at somebody's name, you'll be able to see if they're in your live. It doesn't even show it now because he's blocked. <clears throat> no, I don't need the extra stress and it's just a pain in the ass, bro, because he's freaking trolling me everywhere I go. Like, why are you bothering me, man? Fucking, I didn't do nothing to you. Hell, do you care about what I do? No, you're right, Mark. It's true. I don't need the extra stress, and it's just aggravating, man. And I ain't mad at my dad. I'm mad about that. That pissed me off. Like, but then I, I'm more. Mad. I'm not mad at my dad at all. I'm. I'm mad in general that I have to be a burden on people because I'm sick. I. I can't. I hate it. That's what aggravates me. You know, it's like when he said, "Oh, we'll do it all on Wednesday." I know he didn't mean anything by it, but I already made promises. You know, to to get my money out and pay my rent. I'm brand new here. I don't want a problem with my landlord, which he probably wouldn't even care anyway, but I don't want to start it. You know what I mean? That's not a good foot to get off on. And it's like, my dad does so much for me, man. He fucking needs to be chilling. He doesn't need to be freaking running all over God's creation with me all the time. It bothers me, man. Most people in New Jersey don't F around. Most people don't know that until they get a piece of mail with anthrax in it. <laughs> no, I hear you, bro. I do. I get it. No, I know that too, Dad. He will. It, it's just I don't understand why he's trolling me. What did I do? He was out there in the lottery in DK Scratchers live. I'm in there. And I'm like, DK, who? Because Terry actually told me about it. So I went in there and I saw this dude talking shit about me. And I called him out. I'm like, bro, why are you letting somebody talk shit about me in your live? He's like, well, I didn't see it. You know, my mods will take care of it. I don't see anybody talking anything about you. I'm like, okay. So Terry took pictures of it, came back and showed me. And he's like, oh, yeah, he's in there. Uh, he's doing his lives, um, eating pizza that he gets for free from um, food stamps. But then he's he's doing lottery tickets. I never did a lottery ticket online in five months, bro, since I had my lottery channel. So that's bullshit. So I don't know where he came up with that unless he saw a video and is just a moron and didn't see the date on it. Talking shit like that, saying that I was eating pizza, chewing my mouth open, like saying all this crap, like. What are you trolling me for, bro? I don't even know you. Like, go away. You know what I mean? I don't need your shit. And then you're going in, going into a, a a community, a fishing community where everybody's just chill, laid back from the country, just fishing and talking about fishing. And you're going in there saying, "Watch out for this guy, F4C. He's uh, all he does is talk about his cancer." You know what's nasty? You know what Cindy said? Well, that's he's going through that a lot right now. You know, in his life. So just why, why does that bother you, Donald, or something? She said. And then the dude didn't answer back again. I've never seen him too, and I've been there two years. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. So he's trolling me because that was my first time there. So he's trolling me. How he's knowing where I am, I don't know. I don't know how he could do. I don't know how people do that. How they like could find you where you're alive. Like that's freaking spooky to me too. Like that really bothers me because I don't know how this dude knows where I'm at. I've never been to her live ever, and the first time I went in there, he's trolling me there. How does he know I'm there? How do people do that? Does anybody know? Cause that's that's creepy to me. That's really creepy. Like, how does this dude know where I'm at? But then won't step foot in my life. Like, and come in here and then like expose himself. Cause I'll expose your punk ass. You come in here, bro. Trust me, I will. Cause you don't know me, bro. Yeah, he's a real jerk off, and a lot of people have said it and that have noticed it in another in other lives. Like, I wasn't mad at that DK from that channel because he's too busy. He had 400 people in his life. You know what I mean? But Terry saw it, like I said, and she she let me know. She sent me screenshots of it. And if this dude keeps it up, bro, I'm going to freaking go to the cops. And I'm going to show them, and I'm going to press harassment charges on this name. And whoever they find out, the URL, or whoever they find the channel, who this person is. Then, then it's going to get serious, because I will. If I keep getting trolled and harassed like this, man. Because YouTube's not doing anything about it. They don't care. 
you can set your channel and then set it to all this and you can report them 10 hundred thousand times but youtube does nothing about it but you know what when you call the police department they'll do something about it because i'll tell them listen i feel like i'm being harassed on a social media site my life is in danger i'm sick and i'm and i have people trolling me talking all this mad shit about me and i'll show them the proof and you know what that person will stop unless they want to go to freaking jail so if you're hearing me right now donald run away because i'm telling you right now you don't want to mess with me because i will make your life hell hi miss mary how are you i didn't want to do this but you know what i was already in a pissed off mood and i needed something to talk about in life and i finally figured it out in my head because i thought about that name in my head i'm sitting here and i'm like I had such a good time in that live last night until that douchebag showed up. And I'm like, why is this guy trolling me? And how did he know I'm there? That's what scares me even more. How does this person know where I'm at? Like, I don't get it. No, I know. How you doing, Mary? Good to see you, darling. <clears throat> Hope you're having a good day. No, I'm just I'm just glad I said it because you know I kept it to myself and kept it to myself and then that dude followed me into the freaking I I, I want to know how they do that how do they know where you are, that's spooky to me man like is this dude sitting outside my fucking house like looking at me how the fuck does he know where I'm where I'm sitting in YouTube, that's scary man, that's real scary, and that should be scary to everybody else and alarming and, and make you make you wake up and say bro something's not right here with YouTube. I took a nap I never take naps. And you must have been tired. You had, a, you had a really long weekend, man. A lot of cooking, Mary. So you, needed, you needed a little little nappy nap. Nothing wrong with that. I'm glad you got some rest. Yeah, we'll figure it all out, man. Pop, it's all good. I just, like I said, to me, the alarming thing to me is how does this dude know where I'm at? That's what's bothering me more. And if we need a topic to talk about, that's what we need to talk about. If YouTube, you're listening... Please listen to my live right now. How do people know where I am without knowing where I am, if that makes any sense? Like, how did that dude know to find me there? Is there a way to go on YouTube and find someone? Like, like Mark, if you're in a fishing channel somewhere, how do I know where, like, how do I find you? You know what I'm saying? Is there a way to, like, hit the app button and it shows me where you are or something like that? Like, I don't know. I've never heard of anything like that. Strange. Scary, man. If you think about it, it really is. I feel lazy. That's okay. Listen, you did a lot of work. You cooked a lot of food for your family. It's okay to be lazy. It's Monday. That's what Mondays are for. They should do something about it, Dad, but I don't know how do you, you know, all you can do is block them, and they give you the option when you block them to report them, and I did. I hit block and report, and then it comes up. What are you reporting this person for? For this channel for? And I said for harassment. And I and I've done that three, four times, and then for some some way somehow it becomes unblocked, and I see him again somewhere else. So, like I said, I saw him last night and skip Jack Cindy's, and I blocked him again, and um, and reported him again. So we'll see what happens now. Because now, according to the laws in, in YouTube, and not laws, whatever it is, the layout, if you're blocked, you cannot be seen anywhere else, and you cannot, another other person can't see you. Either way, like if I blocked him and he's not blocking me, he can't see me or not if I block him anywhere, no matter where I'm at. So we'll see if that works again, because I blocked him. So this dude should not know where I'm at. If I'm live and he subscribed to me, there's nothing I can do about that, except he can't. I don't think he can comment in my live. That's the only thing I think. But he can comment somewhere else. I have no idea, but that's something I need on this dude, for real. And I just want to know why this dude's trolling me. I, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I, I don't even know this person. I can see if I knew him, you know. And there was another one uh, that started with a Z. You guys were here. The other, I don't know who was in here with me the other day. Zylander or whatever. I just I had to block that. Comes in. I saw I was I was in between my lives and I was I was taking a nap. I woke up and I saw that this person subscribed to me and I mentioned it in the second live, like first couple minutes. And then that person came into the live and I'm like, hey, welcome. You know, I said hello, blah blah blah. 
And then it says, do you really have cancer? Like, what? Are you friends with this other asshole? Like, I don't get it. Why are you, why are you people coming and messing with me? I don't, I don't understand it. I really don't. If you guys are listening, just go away and troll somebody else, man. I'm not the one. I don't need the stress, man. I really don't. It's getting aggravating. Because me, I know myself. I'll just delete everything. I will not. You won't see me anymore, man. I'll just be gone. Because I don't need it. I don't need the bullshit. You know, and I love being on here with you guys, even if it's three of us for two hours. I don't. I enjoy it. It's it's my therapy. I have fun with you guys. But when it becomes stressful to me like that, I'll just I'll just delete it all, man. I don't care. I've done it before. When you go on YouTube, it always says you should be respectful. Every live you go into and obey the guidelines. It says it on every live you go into. I have no idea, Mary. I don't know. I know the name of the person. I reported them and blocked them so many times. It gets unblocked, and then I see them again somewhere else. What's scary to me, Mary, is how does this person know where I'm at? Because I went to a live last night that I've never been to ever. First time. Skip Jack Cindy, who you guys saw on the live yesterday. I met her for the first time. Went into her live last night for the first time ever, and he was in there. And Mark said he's been going there for two years. Billy said he's never seen him before. So how does he how does he know where I'm at when I'm there? That's the scary part. Like, are you sitting? Do you have a camera inside my fish behind me, like watching me what I'm clicking on? That's the scary shit, dude. They are full of shit. No, but how how do they know? How does this person know? Yeah, thanks, Cindy. You must have heard me talking about you, <laughs> but in a good way. That person was an asshole. And once I blocked him, did they say anything else, Cindy? Because once you block a person, you can't see them. I just want to know how that person knew I was in your life because I was never in your life before ever. And that person has been trolling me for the last couple of months. And how does that person know that I was there? That's the scary part. That's when you start second guessing the people that you meet because you say, well, how does this dude know me? Maybe he's associated with that channel. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm not saying that about you whatsoever. Trust me, I'm not, Cindy, because you guys are amazing, but it doesn't make any sense. Like, how does that dude know where I am? Like, how does another person find you when you're in another live? Like, I've never, I've been on YouTube for over 12 years. I've never found a way to do that. Like, if you left here right now, Cindy, and went into, um, mary bruce's channel and i didn't i didn't know that though right say so i didn't know that how do i know you're there you don't there's no way to know that so how did that dude know i was there last night that's the part that bugged me out and it really fucked me up part of my french because that's scary dude that's scary and that's scary not just for me i don't give a shit i'll block him and report him and i'll call i'll, I'll call local police i don't give a shit that dude won't bother me it's scary for for kids for women like, how do people know where these people are? Like, they could stalk you, bro. That's It's scary to me. It's definitely not a coincidence. Nope. And that's the part that's bugging me out. And you've never seen him in your channel before. So how did that person know I was there? That's the answer I want from somebody. And I don't, and I don't know who the person is that can give you that answer. Because that's creepy shit. Am I right or am I wrong? That's creepy do you have the channels you're subscribed to visible i don't know i'm not sure i don't know how to do that that's one thing i don't know either how do i do that like what i can hide that but what does that have to do with it anyway that that channel will still not know where i am and where i am there's no way to find out what you're clicking on cindy what you clicked on all day today on youtube there's no way for me to find out where you are so how does that dude know where i'm at you understand what i'm saying how would that person know where I am? You know, was it maybe listening in into my live in the morning when I said, oh, I'll come to your live tonight? Maybe. And then they're just creeping and seeing if I came in there. And then they came in. That's that's a possibility. That's the only thing I could think of. Because we were talking in the live yesterday that oh, I'll, I'll come check you out tonight. So if that dude's trolling me, then he's trolling behind me, following me into your live. That's the only other, that's the only answer I could come up with. You know, he may have subscribed to all the channels that you're subscribed to, and he just hits the ones that are live. It's possible, yeah. That's basically what I just said too, yeah. In a nutshell, yeah. 
but how do how do I how do I make the channels I'm subscribed to not visible? Where how do I do that? Do you know, Cindy? Because I'll do it right now. We gotta go to YouTube Studio, right? I'm guessing. I don't know if I can do it from my uh, phone. That's the only way I could think of. Yeah, so me too. That's why I've been thinking about it like, in my head. Unless we were talking about it in the live, which we did in the morning. And we and I said that's where I was going to be. And then he probably put two and two together. So oh, let me go subscribe to that channel or just go in there. You don't even have to be subscribed. You just go in there. And so I was there. But I think I have to do it on my laptop, I think. I don't really know. But I know he's blocked. So how he got unblocked from the last time, I don't know. But it's blocked now. So it doesn't really matter anymore because he's blocked. He can't find me. And if he does find where I'm in and he wants to talk shit in there, then that's up to the host to block that person and report them too. So. No, YouTube should, but they don't. Who knows? It's probably one of YouTube's trolls. I don't think you have to go to the studio. I think you could do it just from your page. Let me check and see if they're visible. Okay. Because yeah, I have no idea so any, about that, Cindy. I never, I never had to think of like that that way. You know what I mean? I never had anybody troll me before. It's wild. But that's what it is. You know, so now I went from like what what I talk about to oh, oh he talks about like he was saying talking about uh about lottery tickets and DKs because it was a lottery channel. So then last night he's in a fishing channel, he's not talking about lottery, he's saying, Oh, all I do is talk about my cancer. So what do you care, bro? Donald, what do you care what I talk about, bro? If you don't want to hear me talk about my cancer, go away. Go to another channel. There's billions of them. Why why do you have to care about me? Go away. The fuck doesn't matter what I talk about on my channel. It's my channel. It's my business. I'll talk about whatever I want. I'm just waiting for Cindy to let me know what she sees. I don't know. I really don't know, to be honest, how, uh, how that even works. If that was Taylor Swift, his ass would... But if that was Taylor Swift, his ass would go on YouTube ever. Would never go on YouTube ever. I've dealt with bullies one-on-one -on -one after I was cornered one day and had to fight them. Yeah. This is different, though. This is like cyberbullying, man. It's not even bullying. It's just being an asshole. That's all he's doing is just being a jerk off, period. And there's no reason for it, you know, like like Fishing Maniac said. I don't need the extra bullshit in my life. I really don't, especially on something that I, I come on and I like I enjoy, you know. Like I need to deal with some troll, some dude trolling me and, and worried about my every move. For what? It makes no sense. You have nothing else to do with your pathetic life. I don't see your subscriber list, so he must be lurking in your live somehow, maybe under another profile. Maybe. All right. Well, he's blocked anyway, so. Hopefully, uh, it being blocked again, how it got unblocked, it, I, listen, I could have accidentally done it. Maybe one day unblocked it. Who knows? But I know he's blocked for sure because I did it last night. Right while I was still on your channel, I blocked them right there. I just blocked them and reported them again for harassment, and that's like the fifth time. So maybe YouTube will do something about it this time. And um, have them move on and go bother somebody else. Shouldn't bother anybody. Like my dad said, he should be off YouTube, period. Shouldn't do that to anybody. It's not right. But some people have, have no lives, and they have nothing else better to do. And they want to bother other people that are vulnerable. That, that dude would have messed with me if I was healthy, 100% healthy, and in front of me to my face. I'll tell you that right now. That dude would be hurt. And don't get me wrong. Don't take my vulnerability for weakness because I'll tell you right now, I am not weak. And I've said this to my family, and I've said this to a lot of people. I'm still me, and I'm still a dangerous person. 
I'll tell you that right now. I don't care how sick I am. I will still defend myself. So confront me as I'm walking down the street. I dare you. I fucking double dog dare you. Okay, thanks, Cindy. I appreciate that. I'm sorry that I even had to, you know, I don't want you to get the wrong idea of me either. But you know what? I, I, I had to I had to step up and say something because other people need to know this shit. That, that there's assholes like this out there, you know. And I'm sorry that he came into your life. It wasn't my fault. I came and I had such a great time, you know, and then and then I saw him and I'm like, dude, how my house this dude know where I am? I'm like, that's crazy. And then I started bugging out. And I'm like, let me block this dude right now. You know what I mean? Like well, they should all report. But you know what? That for one one of him, there's a hundred of them. You know what I mean? There's a hundred trolls like him. You know what I mean? All you can do is, and it's a God's honest truth, is block them and report them. That's all you can do. And I think maybe YouTube will get it to point if everyone that I talk to about it reports that name if they see him in the live. They just report him every time and keep reporting him and reporting him and reporting him and, and blocking him. And that's it. And then eventually YouTube is going to say, okay, this dude's uh, something, something's not right here. So hopefully that's what you think, you know. But like I said, you know, I, I don't even know if an apology is needed, Cindy, but I'm gonna apologize to you because you don't need the nonsense either. But I just want you to I want you to know that that was crazy. I, and I and I've you know, you have to understand something. And when you when you can't put two and two together of how this person finds you, you start thinking about, you know. And I don't want any any channel to take this personally, at all. I've been on this platform a long time, but when you when I'm sitting, I was sitting here last night before I couldn't sleep thinking about this shit, and I'm going, okay, these new channels came into my channel from this channel. So basically, Billy knew you guys and sent you guys over to meet my channel, and then all of a sudden, this dude's in your channel trolling me. So naturally, and I'm talking to you, keep an open mind. What am I going to think? I'm going to think, okay, maybe he's associated with this channel, or maybe it's even worse than that. Maybe he's associated with Billy, who I really thought is my friend, and this dude's like in cahoots with him. And you know what I'm saying? It's it's like life. You just think about shit like that because we're human, and I don't think that at all. Trust me, I don't. But the thoughts cross your mind because at the end of the day, we really don't know each other, you know. And please, like I said, don't do not take that any which way but the way I said it. And it means nothing. It just there's bad people everywhere in this world, man. You just never know where they are. And unfortunately, this dude is a bad one and he's a bad troll. And I don't know if it's his real name. If he's a troll to that to that extent where he's gonna fucking troll me for the last two, three months, maybe it isn't his real name. I don't know. Who knows? He'd be a fucking idiot, to be honest, if it is his real name. But no, it's okay, Cindy. You don't have to apologize to me at all, and I want to apologize to you because I don't want—I don't want you to get the wrong idea of me that this, you know, this happens or I'm going to bring this shit to your channel. Because no, I really enjoyed it. I had a good time over there. I met a lot of nice people, and I was in uh, any fin today possible. I don't know if you know any fin. Does a lot of uh, carp and cash fishing, and I was in there today. You know, met a few people there. I was in buggy this morning. Like I met a lot of cool people in the last couple of days. You know, and it's like. I don't want to lose that, you know what I mean? Because there's one jerk off out there, you know, causing all this drama for me. You know, and I don't want people to be like, ah, I don't need you over here because it's, you know, it's just not the drama with your name. And I don't want that, you know, because that's not me. So why this guy's doing it to me, I really don't know. But I, all I know is I don't need it in my life. So I'm just bringing it to everybody's attention that it happens. And if you see them, to please just block them. That's all. All this technology is good in so many ways, but could be so bad too. Yeah, that's true, Mary. It really is. It really is. But there's always one. There's always one. You know what I mean? That's going to be the bad part, you know, the bad bunch of bananas. You know what I mean? That's going to make that banana bunch go bad. Always one in a group. It just is what it is. I've been sub to you for a while since you were just fishing for claimers. Oh, okay. That's cool. I didn't know. I thought I thought Billy sent you over. I really did. Because I know he hangs out with you guys too, you know, your channel. So I don't know. That was just, I just assumed that. I'm sorry if I, if I was wrong, but I'm glad you've been. That's good. I'm glad we met, really. I, I think you have a I, – I, I thoroughly enjoyed myself last night. That was fun, man. I was I was going ready to go to sleep, man, and you had the one hit on it, right, Rod? I was like, ooh, this is this guy, and I'm sticking around. I want to see a fish caught. It was fun. <laughs> Even in Facebook, they put you in Facebook, Joe. Yeah, that's true. But then they let you out. You know, it's, what's Facebook, Joe? 
can't post for a day. Well, yeah, that's bullshit too. But I just never saw you live when I had five to come in. When I had, huh? I just never saw you live when I had five to. When I, oh, when I had time to come in. Okay, I got. You. I think that's what you meant to say. No, it's cool. Yeah, that's what I. That's what I thought you said. Yeah. But um. I really had fun. I was I was going to sleep. I was like, I'm not, I was adamant about it. I'm going to sleep. Yeah, if you said you're fishing, they weren't nothing was doing. And then that rod was like, brruh, brruh. I'm like, oh, I ain't going anywhere, man. <laughs> said, I want to see a fish cause so bad, man. I even called it. I'm like, that's probably a little channel cat, guaranteed. Hitting on that big bait. And then you said it, and I was like, ah, see. <laughs> uh, my sister is always behind, really, on uh, Facebook. That's guys. That's never happened to me before. I don't even know what it would look like if they told me, like, you're banned or whatever. I don't even know. It's never happened to me before. I wish we could have caught it. Yeah, I wish you would have, too, really. Um, no, like I said, I was in uh, anything possible, and it was carp fishing uh, with that pack bait. And uh, he caught three in, like, in, I don't know, about half an hour, 40 minutes. Pretty cool, man. Some good takedowns. Really, really fun to watch. He'll be live straight till Thursday. He goes live uh, Monday through Thursday. It's fun. I've, I've been in this channel before. I just I haven't been in it so long. And then, uh, and then I, I like I said, I bumped into it today. I saw him live. I was like, ah, cool. <clears throat> See, now we're in twenty minutes later. I got to pee again. Jesus, uh, 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 all these meds—they make me go to the bathroom. It's nuts. Think about what a small world it is. Like, look at NJ Fisher Maniac. I met him a while back. It's been a while now, but I met him. He's, he lives 20 minutes from me. Small world, right? But he's friends with Billy, Gigability. He knows you and, and Travis. It's a small world, YouTube. You know what I mean? Like, a, a lot of people know each other that you don't think know each other until you find out they know each other. So that's what I was saying. Like, you never know who's associated with who. And... uh I've met some really cool people on this platform, and I don't want to leave. I just hate that there's such assholes out there. I want to carp fish. I'll tell you what. After watching him today, I want to make that pack bait. I want to make it up when I feel better and try it at the river, man. I really do. I never have on purpose. Cindy, one rod. Use a smaller bait for those bait stealers. <laughs> Used to watch NJ all the time. Yeah. No, he's cool. he got a great channel. Really cool. It's just you don't, you know, you don't put two two together. You know who knows who and how they know each other. It's just like it's a small world. I'm telling you. And within the genre of your channel, like of your content, it's just so many people know each other from all over the place. I know I have fishing channels that I watch in the UK, and then oh man, my freaking back! I'm getting like some crazy spasms in my back right now, where it's like making taking my breath away. I hope that's my back and not my heart. I'm getting all freaking worked up. Breathe, Jerry, breathe. Oh, man. Oh, man, my back hurts. I hope that's my back. <sighs> I was searching for trips to Vegas, and two hours later, got a call from a lady wanted to wanted info from my Medicare card. She tried telling me she was from Medicare. I Googled the area code. It was Nevada. See? It's, it's crazy, man. It is definitely crazy out there. So you never know, man. It is scary. It really is. It's very scary. Yeah, I hear you on that, Cindy, but sometimes you don't want to give in either. You just keep the big baits on and let them nibble. You know, eventually that big one's going to come along and steal it from that little fish. Yeah, I can't wait till uh, Wednesday. Watch your life. It's going to be fun. 
the you know, pops are definitely going to be there. Crazy part is I'm going to have to I'm going to come in with my other channel. So I'm going to tell you now what it's called, just so it's not a shock that night to you. Um, Outdoors for Life. That's my fishing channel. I don't do anything on it, and I haven't done anything on it in a while. But since my dad will be there, and I'll be there, he uses my old phone. So when he's chatting in a chat, it's underneath my channel name, uh, ANS with F4C. So we can't both be chatting at the same time with the same name. So I'll just come in with um, Outdoors for Life, so you know that's me. What's my other channel? <clears throat> it was actually my only channel for a while. When I got rid of my original my original YouTube channel where I had almost a thousand subs and all that, and I got rid of it all. I deleted it. Once again, it was somebody bullying back then too. You know, another jerk off that and he wasn't a troll, he was just somebody I knew that was just a jerk. And uh, bullied me enough to where I, I deleted my channel. And then it took me so long to get this one up and going now for almost a year and a half. But this one's new. This one's a year and a half. Outdoors for Life only has 300 subscribers, not even 200 something. But that's like over two years old in the channel. I just don't do anything on it anymore. Yeah, definitely. Just wanted to let you know now. So when I come in, you know it's me. I mean, I'm going to say, oh, this is Gerald. And then, well, then you'll know that. When you see uh, adventures and stories with F4C, that it'll be my dad talking, just so you know. It's easier to tell you now. But so, you, you know, just so you're not confused <laughs> at the moment, you know, you can have a bunch of people in there. So, I watch my one buddy every Wednesday. It depends if he goes live like 4, 4 4 30, he should be done by the time. So, I can't guarantee that I'll be there at 6. I know my dad will. If I'm a little late, I will be there though because he's like my best friend, man. I watch him do his lottery every every Wednesday. He does a live, and uh, I don't miss it. So he should be over by the time you go live. <clears throat> Thank you to the five people, ten thumbs up. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Shredded wheat, just add water to the box and mix until you can make a ball. Oh, yeah. I mean, the one I was watching, the guy, it was pink, you know, like all the ones you see. Like, uh, I guess he used cherry Kool Aid and I don't know, shredded wheat, oatmeal. He said he had peanut butter in there and some other flavors. Like, they're just like super sweet and sticky. Um, he said he was going to talk about it on his Friday video, what the ingredients was actually. He's going to let everybody know. I can't wait to watch that video. I'm curious. I really want to make it one day, Dad, and try it. But you got to buy those things, those little traps that you press the shit on there. Those were those became popular in Europe, man, and then it, then it came here. <clears throat> what time is it? It's five o'clock. I'm going to get off of here shortly. <clears throat> I'm going to go cook dinner. And uh, I'm getting busy with hustling, but to move. I hear you. Are you almost there? Got to run and get busy. Got to, good to see you. You got it. Good, good to see you, Cindy. I'll see you Wednesday night. Have fun in your life. I'll be there for sure. Like I said, just remember, it'll, I'll, I'll, my dad will be in on my channel, and then you'll see me on my other channel, Outdoors for Life, just so you know. Be well, Rocco. Have a good one, man. You know I've been carp fishing since I was five years old. No, I know. I know. But all right, Pop, I'm going to get off of here. I'll, um, if I don't talk to you tonight, Dad, I'll talk to you in the morning and um, during the live, and then we'll figure out a time, you know. What time we could hook up tomorrow and get all this shit done, right? But um, I'm gonna eat and just chill out tonight. Basically, just watch TV, watch uh, watch YouTube, and that's it. I'm not feeling too hot again, so I'm just gonna eat. I'm gonna make pierogies now, eat something, and then uh, just chill out for the rest of the night. But uh, I'll see you in the morning, and the rest of you, I'll see you in the morning in the in the live if you come in. Uh, thanks for coming in here for a little while, spending some time. I do appreciate it. Thank you for the ten thumbs up. If you haven't hit it, hit it on the way out. Um, Good night, Mary. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate you. Cindy, thank you. Pops, thank you. Uh, Rocco, 
Uh, blah, blah, blah. Anyone else I missed, I apologize. Mark, thanks for being here, brother. I appreciate you, man, if you're listening in. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the morning. All right, peace out.